Hey ChatGPT, can you write Airflow DAC to read data from Twitter API and write it on S3? Can you generate a sample create table statement with four different tables connected using a foreign key with 100 rows for SQL analysis? Can you also explain how can I integrate Apache Spark with Airflow? Should I learn Snowflake or Databricks? Which one is better? Just do my job already, huh? Okay, I've been getting a lot of requests on this topic about ChatGPT's impact on data engineering. I've been thinking to make this video from a long time and here it is. In this video, I will share some of my views on ChatGPT and its impact on overall technology and data engineering and also if you have some of the thoughts then you can also share it in the comment section so that we can discuss and understand more about it the reason i'm making this video is that there is a lot of fear going around in the market a lot of people are thinking that data engineering might die or get completely automated because of the chat gpt see no one has seen the future and what is going to happen but what you can do we can understand different perspective and share our views on it so that is the goal of this video is i will be giving you my own perspective on chat gpt and its impact on on data engineering i will try to answer some of the messages that i got in my inbox and also how you can use chat gpt for your day-to-day -day work to improve your productivity and efficiency so first let me give you the basic introduction about chat gpt if you have no idea about it so chat gpt is a type of ai model that uses machine learning to generate human like text so it is kind of like the chatbot that you interact on different websites but it is quite intelligent because it has been trained on millions of millions of data understands the pattern behind it and give you the right output based on the questions that you ask so as you saw the example it can generate the sql queries it can write python code you can also generate the text summary if you want to get the summary of the entire text if you want to rewrite your content if you want to improve your content you can do a lot of different things using chat gpt so first if you look it is not only about data engineering it has impact on all of the different fields such as copywriting marketing web development it can also generate the html code and most of the things that you can do on the internet so let's address the elephant in the room will data engineering die or be completely automated or replaced by ai the short answer is no data engineering is a field that involves wide range of tasks such as data cleaning data manipulation building data pipelines so you extract data from multiple sources these data come into various formats such as audio, video, text, images and many more. While some of these tasks can be automated or replaced by technologies such as ChatGPT, it is unlikely that a field data engineering as a whole will disappear. As data continues to be generated and used, we need people who understand all of these processes and can manage all of those data. So there will be always the need of data engineers in between somewhere. So the answer is straight, it is not going to completely replace or automate data engineering. Some parts of data engineering such as data cleaning can be automated so if there is a data coming so if there is a pattern inside the data such as it contains null value or it contains some garbage data so this thing can be done using tools such as chat gpt but the thing is these things are already being automated with the various tools by writing rule based logic if you use ai in the place of this rule based system can automatically recognize some of the patterns and do things more efficiently it can also help you with the data validation so if you want to run some checks between two different data it can also do that and it can also assist you with some of the reports that you want to generate if you ask the right questions but the thing is you will still need human expertise to take the final decision and validate it because these output cannot be 100 percent correct there are still many limitations and you cannot give complete control to ai on important tasks so it will not replace you it will help you to work efficiently and improve your productivity and this is not only about data engineering this is true for all of the different fields Let's take the example if you want to write a python code that can extract data from the twitter or if you want to write a code to scrape data from amazon website you can easily ask the chat gpt to generate the sample code for you so instead of going through the different tutorials and the documentation you can get the sample code just by asking a simple question or let's say if you face some error you can ask the question to chat gpt on how to solve that particular error this will save you a lot of time and you can focus on important tasks and for this you also need to understand the field there is no point of generating the python code if you don't even know the python on the first place so you need understanding of the field just to make sure if the output is correct and can be used in your system but this also means that instead of hiring four people to do a job, company will prefer to hire only two people because most of the time software engineers, data engineers spend on debugging issues or trying to understand the new things by reading documentation or going online. Now all of these things can be done faster or more efficiently using tools such as chat GPT. So instead of hiring four people, they can only hire two people because the productivity has increased and the things that used to take let's say eight hours to complete now can be done in two to three hours 
asking because you are spending less time on researching thing and you can get output by asking the simple question again let me tell you this thing this is not only about data engineering this will have impact on everyone such as web developer marketing people copywriters and everyone but here's the thing working in the it field or internet field is a blood path more and more tools come make things easier but they also create new jobs for example we used to write our application code in machine level code then assembly language then new languages came such as c c plus plus java so we started using compiler to compile those things and run our code after that more abstractions came so we started using python so instead of worrying about compiling the code and making sure the syntax are right you can just focus on the writing the code and not worry about the compiling the code or if you added the semicolon at the end of the statement after that more tools came in the market so if you don't even know how to write code you can use these tools just drag and drop and create the website you like but there are still many companies that use this java for their day-to-day -day work there are many companies who work on operating system level that uses c or c plus plus if you're into game development you are still using c plus plus to write the game development code many of the web applications are still done using writing code than using any drag and drop tool so you can't just replace the technology in the few years it takes time to adapt when i was working as a web developer a lot of people used to say that php will die in few years but if you see today, entire WordPress runs onto PHP. There are many companies that are still using Hadoop for the data processing system. Technology keeps moving forward, new tools come and go, some of them will stay and create the new opportunity in the market. So you don't really have to worry about getting replaced by AI, but also you don't need to be a person who say no to these AI tools. In order to succeed, it is really important that you keep upscaling and be open to learn new things that are coming in the market. So don't be that guy who rejects the AI completely. Instead, focus on how you can use this AI tool for your advantage. There is this tweet I found, AI will not replace you, a person using AI will. And I completely agree with this. Just like many people put Googling as a skill in the resume, a lot of people will start putting this AI tool's name in the resume to showcase that they know how to work with these tools. So what is in your control? Keep upscaling, keep learning new things and be open to change. AI might replace things in next year, next 10 years, 100 years, we don't even know. But for now, all you have to focus on is that how you can use these tools for your advantage and to grow in your career you can use chat GPT for various different things for your day-to-day -day activity if you have some questions you can ask if you want to generate the code sample you can also do that if you want to compare different technologies and get the views on it you can also do that so don't worry about getting replaced and focus on how you can use it for your own advantage all of these were my scattered opinions that i tried to put in this particular video i love to hear your thoughts so if you have any thoughts on chat GPT and its impact on data engineering or any other field please put it on the comment section so that i and other people can also learn about it that's it for this video i hope you understood and learned something new from this video if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to stay connected thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video